South China, Sea Beijing warns US will lose fight. Once blood is drawn as tension so, China has warned the US that it will lose any fight over Taiwan as tensions in the South China Sea continue to escalate. China's state back newspaper. The Global Times said the US will have few options in the event of a conflict. In an opinion piece for the newspaper France Gale wrote, considering the congestion of hostile forces in above and below the Taiwan Straits and South China Sea conflict could explode by accident or design. Once blood is drawn, the US will have few options. If the USA likes to fight China over the island of Taiwan, then it will lose. The Eastern superpower claims sovereignty over Taiwan, a democracy of around 24 million people. Despite the two nations, having been governed separately for over seven decades, Beijing claims ownership under its One China policy, which demands there is only one sovereign state under the name of China. China's Communist Party has previously threatened to take Taiwan by force. If diplomatic efforts do not succeed, the US has a security agreement with Taiwan to supply it with sufficient technology and hardware to deter an invasion from China. Beijing has warned America to steer clear of Taiwan while sending warplanes over the independent island almost daily. This year, last week reports emerged that the Biden administration was planning to make its first arms sale to Taiwan under the deal, which includes 40 self-propelled howitzers. The move further reinforces America's military support for the island. China's deputy foreign minister told AP the Taiwan question bears on China's core interests. There is simply no room for compromise. China firmly opposes any form of official engagement between the United States and Taiwan. Earlier this month, President Biden sent the former U.S. Senator, Christopher Dodd, on an unofficial delegation to Taiwan to show America's support for the country. China has warned the U.S. not to send officials to its island neighbor. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen thanked Washington for its rock-solid support amid the growing threats from Beijing. Mr. Dodd said his trip to the island was to reaffirm the U.S. commitment to this partnership, which is stronger than ever.